Hello, this reading is for Taurus. Taurus for Monday, March 4th, 2023, and Tuesday, March 5th, 2024. Let us see what's coming into your energy, Taurus. What energetic messages can I share or affirmations, things either on the long or short term that are building up, that are generating in your energy? What do you need to know? Ace of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Five of Wands. Ace of Pentacles gets Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups. A past person looks like they are coming back. Five of Pentacles. Made a decision and decided to break a stalemate. It looks like Four of Swords, King of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Someone's planning on coming forward, but interesting. Equal amounts of forward energy and dragging energy. Five of Wands, Judgment, Star, and Death. So Taurus. Go and see. See what am I going to clarify here? I do feel it's a love relationship, but we can make sure. King of Wands is coming back. Could that be a fire sign for you? If that's the case, Taurus. I see fire and air. I particularly see Sagittarius. Not Sagittarius. Excuse me. That was a slip. I see. Um, Aquarius. I also see Leo. I see Libra for that matter too. There's some stubborn energy here, but a person's coming back to you. Taurus, I do feel this person does have a bit of an impulsive side. I think they also take lots of pride in themselves and in their thought process. I think they have so much pride in how they're able to react quickly. They're a bit impulsive. This person, although they have left you for quite a long period of time, believes it by the power, by the charisma. They can come back and make a favorable impact. I think this person also still feels that the time they spent away, it was justified. That's why I say it's stubborn. You got some stubborn, 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 even for that matter, to go and keep a, a distance from someone that's stubborn energy too. You have someone who's coming back, Taurus, but know that this person is very stubborn. Interesting that the stubbornness comes through so strongly for me. Person decided to come back, but they're stubborn. They feel like the distance and the time that it took away from each other, that was necessary, they feel. No regrets on that for this person, at least at this time. King of Swords. Two very direct and forward energies together with two very I want to say dull energies and then the king of swords in this company also feels kind of dull so there's someone who can't let go of the connection they're planning on coming forward not they're not coming forward yet they're planning I'm going to find about the Four of Pentacles. 
planning the best way of sending the message. Well, this person wants another start with you. They are definitely, they are going to definitely meet you. There is no doubt of that. They're planning on the best way of doing that. And they know that their appearance to you, Taurus, is going to be shocking. I th think they'll also go and plan something or plan con connecting with you in a way that you can't ignore. You've got some big energies for that. I think you may... Do you have this person block? I don't know. I think you may just not give this person the time of day, and they kind of know that. That's why they're planning something, planning to approach you in a way you can't ignore. That's what I feel from this energy, Taurus. I don't know if it's as simple as using another number or arriving to some place of your schedule, your work, I don't know, your favorite coffee restaurant, I don't know. You know, someplace. They have plans. And they are determined. They think that you will not be able to ignore them. Whatever that means. <laughs> At this light level, right? Judgment. Judgment, Taurus, is clarified by Nine of Pentacles. Death. Nine of Cups. Well, Taurus, I feel like this is your personal read. I'm not going to go that deep into it today. I mean, to go a little deeper in it, I think that it would have to be a private reading. But for what I see here, you're in here. I can tell you're in here because I have a single person who's working hard. I have a happy person who has mastery. You're getting an opportunity. I think you're getting several opportunities, and that's why we have the Five of Wands here. This is one of those energies that it's just not you're getting a love interest, and it's just not you're getting a job, you know, in terms of gains, right? Those are the two typical gains that things break down to. I mean, they're not necessarily going to say you're going to have an ancestral dream about your, like, your great-great-grandmother who will impart valuable, life-changing advice to you in this dream if you could remember it. No, this is not like a reading like that. Um, they're, they're more practical, the energies that I typically get. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that this really benefits both. It benefits your life. This is a life reading. This pull, it's a life reading. It's like a, a, an affirmation of how you've gone or, or how you've progressed up to this point and sort of to keep going. So I do feel the fact that I have the Eight of Pentacles here with the Nine of Pentacles. It's like, number one, working towards your best form. And in working towards your best form, Taurus, you're naturally going to attract people. This sort of message number one is focus on your best form, your best work. Live your best life to the best of your ability right now. All right? That's, mes that's part of the message here with the Five of Wands. I also have the star. I'm not going to clarify the star. I feel pretty clear that the star is your wish. Whatever that may be. 
it's enough to know that this is, I feel very positively aspected. And in alignment or continuing on with that wish, you, are, you, you yourself are generating change, Taurus. There's big time change coming because you're putting the effort and the energy out for that change. And it's going to make you happy. It's going to make you very happy. You know, this is one of those energy reads that I'm seeing that you are very much in control of your life, even though there are external factors in it. I think you could also bring the people that you want into it. I feel you have both in this poll. You have both opportunities in love and career that you are realizing, although you may not have it just yet. But your overall wishes for your life, your overall wishes for your life, Taurus, they are being generated. They're heard and acknowledged and they're being generated. It's an interesting five of wands. This is truly energy that shows that for some things, I mean, some things are complicated. But just because there's many moving parts to it doesn't mean that it's not happening. And likewise, just because there's many moving parts to it and you may not be seeing the progress you'd like physically in front of you, it doesn't mean that it's not happening energetically and generating. Why do things take longer than others? I'm not sure myself. But Taurus, know that you have gains coming in and you have gains coming in because you worked for them energetically and physically. I also feel the final sort of message with this poll. There's something very special about your overall the vibration you're radiating, the vibration you're generating, you're at a high frequency. You're at a nice frequency. You're at a harmonic frequency. And I would say, Taurus, continue. Continue to mindfully keep yourself at the highest vibration you can. See the beauty and joy in everything possible. Because that energy is also adding to your luck, to the luck of what you want to achieve. Taurus, if these messages resonate, let me know. Like or leave a comment. Also, if you would like to see more content from me, subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you very much for the support. I appreciate you. I, oh, if you'd like, you could also buy me a coffee if you want to give me a treat. There's a link in the description box. I will be back with another video. And until then, I wish all of you a beautiful day. Bye-bye.